Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, you are watching a new edition of Locker Reactions. Brought to you by A Lot's Happened Since Yesterday channel. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, ring that motherfucking bell like it owes you money. Oh. <laughs> My name is Ralph Busso. My name is Cody Walker, guys. Thanks so much for joining us on this yet another wonderful special episode. Um, shit, dude. Let's get into it. Our guest reactor today, a fucking psyched to have him back on, man. Ah, some of the best that we do is with Vic. So I'm super psyched he's on. Vic Ritchie, Any Given Sin. How you doing, my brother? Doing good, guys. How are you guys? We're doing excellent, man. Good, bro. We're just waiting for your next single because, uh, <laughs> you know, we're missing it. Yeah. You know, we're, we're like, where the fuck is the I, next single, dude? You know I, I, mean? I assure you, I am too. And I can't wait till it comes out. So there yeah. will be one for too long. Fuck. Yeah, and that, yes. and that, I really am looking forward to seeing you guys live. You have no idea, dude. Um, you're a very cool dude. You're a brother to me. I want to meet you in person. Uh, we've gotten the chance and the opportunity to do this and get to know you. And it's super cool. And the, the coolest part of this, honestly, is not just getting to know Vic Ritchie as a person, but also getting his opinions and, you know, his thoughts on other artists that are out there. That's something that you don't see every day. You know what I mean? So this is a very special episode for us because Vic Ritchie is in a, in a band called Any Given Sin, which if you haven't heard, you're fucking stupid. Uh, <laughs> you're just a fucking give idiot. Program. Yeah, give it, fix your damn life. Yeah. What the fuck, man? <laughs> no. no, these guys are rocking it nationally on all over the charts. These guys are getting played very often on Sirius XM Octane, and their music is fantastic. Um, I can't say enough good things about them. Vic, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate you bringing in your intellectual uh, view on what we're about to talk about. The band we're going to talk about today, the band that we're going to react to, is called The Architects. Now, these guys also get a lot of airplay on Octane, Sirius XM Octane. And uh, there's, there's a reason for it. You know, these guys are solid. Yeah, they're they're um, powerhouses. Like they're they're but fucking we, awesome. We are going to check out their single, um, "Animals," but we're not going to check out the uh, I, I what would it be called the, the album, the, the album version, the, album the official version, release, the official yeah. album version. No, we're instead we're going to check out this video that they did, and you guys let us know what you think because I was kind of taken back by this. So we're, but we're going to get into it. And this is the orchestral version of animals. Yeah. So Vic, are you familiar with the architects? I am. I am. I do like the band. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's cool. what I love about this show, bro. I mean, I, I, these guys have been around since 2004 and I'm yeah. sadly to say, I'm just now coming in and across my table, but at least I get to learn all of this new shit. And this, uh, this version is ridiculous this orchestral yeah. remix is insane i mean i've don't, always don't don't give too much away bro okay no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> well then let's get into it shall we okay all right architects animals orchestral virgin 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 that word there we go virgin is better <laughs> oh 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 yes little disclaimer in the beginning. <laughs> this is beautiful. the gate i like this version better than the album version okay um i really like 
I love an orchestra and I love how like when you have dr drops like they have and you come punch it back in and there's like a bunch of ear candy that's an orchestrated rather than just uh, I'm going to try, you know, this on the synth keyboard and then we'll just run with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. you had somebody really think about this if they put it together. And so it's really cool. <clears throat> yeah, because so you got I the mean, you, sorry, Ralph, go ahead. No, go ahead. Dude. Oh, I was just going to say you had these you had the low those low end cellos matching the guitar. But it, but it, the mix of it, it was so well done that nothing was overpowering. It just, everything is, is nice and together on it. All right. Wow. Wow. I mean, honestly, I, I powerful. Th there's it, the thing is yeah. what what took me aback about this. Is there's just so much to listen to. I mean, you can listen to this song to this version of the song two two three times and hear something new every every day every set every time. That's the word I'm looking for. You know, um, <laughs> <laughs> like like they keep they keep true to the original version, but there's just so many layers added to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. And there's so many different instruments that are, co are coming into play here. I mean, uh, I, I don't want to get on too much of a tangent, Vic, but I, I am curious to know, what do you think about the difference between actually using real string, you know, orchestrated string players uh, versus doing it inside the box or with synthesizers? Oh, well, number one, the nuance, the that the player could give is way better than what you're going to get out of like a synth sound. So a real professional violinist is going to have all kinds of nuance in the sound. They, they know how to play together with a lot of people. You know, I think there's some advantages. Again, you'd have to have a, a good budget to get that done. Right, you know what I mean, right, in your right, song. Right. Uh, assuming you have that budget, I think it'd be awesome to have like six or seven really good string players that all know how to play off each other and all the nuances they're playing would be in there to hear it. You know, it's, it's, it'd be pretty cool other than just a synth sound that you're hitting, you know, you can still layer it the same way, but it, it just adds something different. To yeah. Because in the original version of it, that there's that ding, 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 that's in the original version, but more of a, of a, of a synth sound where in here they've actually yeah. got the full on strings giving it. Yeah. And, and those, I, those little nuances from the original also stand out more in the orchestral to me. You can you can just right. hear them a little more. Yeah, you know what though? I don't want to take away from the the, the lyrical content of this video. Sure. The original album version is the same as this one, yep. and I will say this one thing to give these fellas props because they deserve it. That is fucking so fucking cool what they wrote about in this song. We're just a bunch of fucking animals. And he says at some point, should I just hold a pen? Yeah. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> you fucking got me with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's not that I want to be dark and, you know, I, I, I don't want to look at the world from a, a negative uh, viewpoint, but at the same time, yeah, we are living in hard times. And this song hits the money. It nails it fucking big time. Because what, so what is the lyric? We're just a bunch of fucking animals, but we're afraid of the outcome. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's a good line. Yep. That's a good fucking line. It's a good line. Should I just pull the pin, dude? You yeah. know what he's saying yeah. with that? He's saying, we. I should just fucking blow us all to fucking hell. <laughs> you know burn what I mean? I mean yeah, burn it down. Watch the world saying. burn. You know? And as a lyricist, Vic, how do you feel about those lyrics? Are you into the darker? Because I know you're a big fan of Chris Cornell. So I'm wondering, because he had some, he, I mean, he, had, he was dealing with some demons. So what are your yeah. thoughts on that? 
Oh, yeah. I mean, I think that's great. I, uh, I think if you can get all that kind of dark crap out in, in, in music, it's a lot better than doing it in your life or something. Or, you know, if you can be doing that and somebody's hearing it, and they kind of don't feel alone. Yeah. You know what I mean? All, yeah. You know, all those sorts of things. I think it's, it's great for music generally. So it, there's tasteful ways to go dark. And then there's just like maybe untasteful ways. I, I, I don't, I'm not really thinking of an example, but Dark well, can turn people off or be cool at the same time. It just depends on how you're hearing it, maybe. Yeah. You know? Well, what 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 was your? I I I I'm not trying to spoiler alert. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what was what were your thoughts when you were putting uh, the way I say goodbye together? Was that a dark place or was that just a, a normal relationship experience? Um. I wouldn't say it was a dark place, but I, I think it's like with most of the songs I want to have, like always have like so, uh, there's some light at the end of the tunnel kind of situation. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I, I think if you go dark and you stay dark, that can be. I don't like that as much in the song that I'm writing than having some sort of light at the end of the tunnel. If that makes sense. You know what I mean? That makes. Um, I think there always has to be yeah. some thread of hope. I don't think anybody is ever fully unable to be right. redeemed. I mean, I agree with you on that. Well, do you guys think there's a, 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 a some form of hope, a light at the end of the tunnel with this song? Let's let's continue watching, and you guys tell me later on. I want to know your thoughts. All right. On the second verse, the strings instead of, on the first verse, the strings were very melodic and all the all the long tones and all this. And this one, they're more. They're getting those bows going back and forth. Yeah, they're getting into it. It's bringing it's and it's building. You can almost feel the song being like, okay, uh oh, something's coming. You know. Fucking ridiculous. Ooh, Fucking ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. It's it's really so cool to see these guys. I mean, it's almost like somehow they connected with the singer's lyrics and the feel of the song. Yeah. Because they seem like they're all into it the same. They seem like they're getting what he's saying and they're fucking playing. And it's just so fucking badass, yeah. dude. I don't the know. The drama is there. The drama is there. Um, yeah. and, and that, can we talk about that riff for a second? There's, so, there, there's something in that. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, so, know, right? it's so simplistic, but it's fucking brilliant. It makes you just, yeah. makes you want to punch Do you like something. the hard stuff, <laughs> Vic? Or do you prefer like more um, uh, melodic? I, I mean, I like both. I love that riff too. It's real menacing, but it's like I, I don't know. You, you just can't you, you like want to follow it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just like yeah. let's see yeah. where this goes. Exactly. You know I mean? like, yes. Uh, it's very inviting. It <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I, I think all things done well are good. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, they've got they've got that chugging riff, right? And then in the background they've got that dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun. yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just kind of like, oh wow, these guys have thought this one out in a big way. And 
I don't know. It's pretty masterful. And the funny thing is the, the one thing that I noticed about this video is, and that I really appreciated was that you could kind of see in their eyes, the string players, that they were like into it. They kind of got into it. They're like, yeah, yeah. Dan, da, 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 dan, da, da, da. you know what I mean? <laughs> and they're just going off, dude. And I'm just kind of like, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> you know, Metallica did this once, right? And they were masterful with it, yep. having an orchestra behind them. These guys are doing it too. And I'm actually a little bit fucking jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. But anyways, shall um, we continue? Yeah. Yes, we shall. Because we should be getting into the bridge, which is pretty fucking awesome. Okay. Um, okay. What? Wait, what? That part makes me want to just come up to somebody and just cut their throat from behind. That part's <laughs> fucking sick as fuck. It's, it's like fucking a shark coming up to you and biting you on your ass is all bam, bam. That's so fucking. <laughs> no, badass. it it makes it the, the original. They have they have that 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 what is it like a? It doesn't sound as as horns. In the original, it's more synth based. It, right. it has it's almost that, like yeah. a whammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the way yeah, they yeah, do yeah. it on this, it it instantly makes it like oh. a epic movie kind oh, of soundtrack. Warhorn. Yes, yeah. Warhorn. Yes, it gets you a little yeah. bit uh, warm and and friendly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a little bit of the hair on the back of your neck stands up, and you get some chicken skin, and then you're like, "Hey, Vic, cheers." <laughs> <laughs> But then, yeah, and then just before they cut back into the last one, that do that those strings are just building for that. It's so it's good, cool, man. Dude. It's, it's so cool, fucking man. good. It's it's really good, dude. We right. uh, we picked a good one. These guys did a great job with this. I don't know what inspires a band to pull this kind of shit off. I Vic was talking earlier. It takes a budget, but you know what, dude? Honestly, Vic, you could pull this off without a budget because. There's so many people that love and respect your music, dude. I bet you you could get an orchestra behind you with one fucking phone call. Are you kidding? Somewhere. Say the word. I'll learn the violin. Fuck it. <laughs> It'd be fun like, to watch. Well, yeah, he's like, hmm, maybe. <laughs> no, he's like thinking about it now. He's like, hmm, what phone maybe call? Should. But hey. Right. Any thoughts on this one, uh, Vic? As far as uh, what we've seen so far, uh, what what are your personal what is your personal take on how they handled this with uh, what they did? Because they obviously changed it up a little bit. You know? Yeah, yeah. And, and from knowing the original version, knowing this one, like I really like this. Um, they could have put this in the original version. I think it would have been just as you know popular and just as awesome. Yeah. Uh, I like this better. I don't know if I like this better because it's new to me or because I like it better, but I, I do like all the strings. I like the horns. Um, I like the way some of the sounds have changed, like we were talking about. Um, obviously, those riffs are sick as fuck, so yeah. those are still sick now. So, <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah. I think it's, it was a great song, and now I think it's, even, it's an even cooler rendition of it. Uh, absolutely yeah i can't get I over how it. much it changes the the emotion of the song you know yeah, where you have does. this the, the the original version is just powerhouse in your face rock and roll and you're in and then this comes in and it's still the same powerhouse rock and roll 
but with so much drama and so much, like you said, it's war vibes and it just, it just gives it a whole, it gives it a whole new life in it. <laughs> war you know, vibes. I it know. really why, does. <laughs> why did I have to bring up killing somebody? I don't or know. Something wrong with you guys. <laughs> Anyways, but um, no, the, the truth is I feel the energy with this. This is like, these guys are, I, I believe these guys are from London. Are they yeah. from London, Cody? I think, let me get the paper. They are from somewhere, somewhere in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that <laughs> Essex or Sussex? Sorry, Essex. Brighton, Brighton, Sussex. Brighton, East okay. Sussex, Britain. So I mean, I think the, it, it's funny because you know, I think the it, the the feel that it gets with the orchestra behind them. And all those players just going off, dun, 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 dun. you know what I mean? And they're just going off and they're yeah. getting into it. It brings out that fucking uh, animal. Just it brings out the animal. Yeah. It brings out that warrior in you. It makes you go, yes, we're marching. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're we're going out there and we're gonna fucking get our enemy and 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 take them out. But the funny thing is, the song is talking about us being our own enemies, basically. Yeah. In my, opinion, it seems like you know? it. Yeah. So it's kind of ironic, you know, but it's got that power behind it, especially with the uh, string players, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I fucking love it. Dude. So. All right, let's finish it off. Let's finish it off, baby. <sighs> Everything an Octavire. Pretty impressive, boys. Yeah, I like I like the passion, man. I like the energy. I love seeing this kind of thing. My my fucking hats off to the architects because. And this version was fucking amazing. You guys you blew it out of the park. Or not do it all. Horns up, it all up. Mm -hmm. brothers. Horns up. Mm -hmm. You know. And I do so. wanna I do wanna because I, I looked it up to make sure. And I know we we harped on it and we we talked all about it. Um but shout out to Rosie Danvers, who is the woman who orchestrated that entire thing. Wow. Um she is a, cool. I looked her up. She's powerhouse. She's collaborated with like Adele and Jay-Z and Kanye and all these fucking okay. people. But so she oh, is a wow. monster in the industry, but this piece is fucking phenomenal. I mean, it's, it, you know, the tons of people or tons of bands have done, you know, orchestral versions and, and versions, Jesus, orchestral versions. And they just kind of follow the flow. In this case, she wrote an entire piece that complemented this song while yes. pulling parts with it. And it is. Yes. It it yes. scratched my no leaf clover itch from Metallica. It it did everything right in my book, and, and yeah. I can't I can't praise her work enough. That was absolutely that was, phenomenal. That was fucking amazing. Yeah, season musicians all around. They fucking nailed it. Rosie's work is out of this fucking world. I am impressed to all the shit. That's all I got to say. Um, I agree one hundred percent. Vic, you are a gentleman, a scholar, a genius. Awesome. You're very pretty. You got an amazing voice. Ah, I kind of hate you a little bit now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you got flowing locks the whole night. It's fucking bullshit. The no. truth comes <laughs> out, man. Some people get too much goddamn talent. No, I'm kidding. No, Vic, we love you, brother. Um, Honestly, man, to say not only am I happy to know you as a friend, but I am a true fan of your work. I'm a true fan of your band. You're fucking mm -hmm. awesome. Um, Thank you Same for doing here. this, man. Same thank you so much. Here, um, yeah, Thank you, sir. You, you all are too kind. Too kind. Tell us what's coming and leave nothing out. I want to know every fucking detail.
<laughs> so, so right now there's there's one detail Damn. <laughs> that's in the works okay uh of course we're still working on the album that will be out this year um no date as of yet but we are going to be out march 10th to the 25th kind of in the southern states uh please check it out um it's going to be on the it's called the res erection tour with uh <laughs> steel panther wow so Hell, it should be pretty yes pretty amazingly fun and funny and uh, it will be warm in oh. March because uh, we'll be in Florida and the Southern States. So oh, come check us out. I hope they sell magnum sized condoms because you got a big dick, bro. <laughs> no, but no. I was going to say, I hope they don't sell them. I hope they sell the other kind. <laughs> Bro, a, it. <laughs> no, but that's badass, dude. I'm, I, I can't wait to see you guys live, dude. You guys are so fucking badass. Uh, I really do. I love, I love your style. You guys have not checked out any given sin. You are missing out on a really quality band. Legit. They're few and far between, you know. So, so go check these guys out and give them your support, man. I mean, they need it right now, you know? Absolutely. They, Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking your time to come on here and give us your opinion on another band that's also doing well in the industry. It's, it's, it's really cool to see that kind of camaraderie, you know what I mean? Uh, everybody that is in this business and really gets it understands that camaraderie friendship and just having a network you know with each other to help each other out to 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 to, to push each other man yeah. i mean at the end of the day that's what does it isn't it you know what i mean somebody that's a really good player that's a really good band that's doing really well they come they see you you open for them and they go god damn those guys are fucking good they need to get pushed. Yep. And if they do that, that makes them good fucking people. And um, <coughs> I believe in that. I believe in that with all my heart. And absolutely. So, so, yeah. so absolutely. absolutely, man. Good people here. Vic Ritchie from Any Given Sin. Guys, check them out. Make sure you We're check out here. Any Given Fucking Sin. Make sure... If you can see them on the road with Steel Panther, you lucky fuck. That's gonna be such a fun time, dude. Um, and uh, yeah, shout out to the architects. You guys fucking killed it. Mad fan. That was an amazing work. Everybody, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. Just thank you all around. If you can like, subscribe, comment. It helps the show build, and you guys are fucking building it. It's it's happening. We're gonna take this fucker to the top. Until next time, take care of each Much other. Much love. Much love. Peace.